this forever, ever, hold on, never mind. Oh, I. Morning. Morning. Uh, today we've gone a little bit coastal. We're in Studland. And we're heading uh, up to Old Harry's Rocks. So we're going to pretty much follow this route behind us here. So we're going to go around here. We're going to go through the new just area so we can see some willies. And then we're going to go right that, all the way along the coast up to Old Harry's Rocks. The Studland Heath and Godlington Heath area is the largest heath area in Dorset, connected heath. So it's super important. And it's got a little sea in. But yeah, so come join us. Just as we're leaving the car park here, straight onto a lovely little bridge, cutting through a reed bed. And I'm already just uh, beaming, yeah, loving it. Looking forward to this. And we've got, well, we've got the sun there. And then, you've got the moon. Somebody wants to tell it to go home. It's drunk. It's drunk. <laughs> it's the morning. Interestingly, although a lot of uh, the UK is losing uh, land to the sea, this area is actually being created. So these dunes are actually in creation, which is unusual on oh, the very coast. Bizarre, yeah. So this is being made. These are not very old, these dunes that you can see now, and they're starting to roll through. But you can see that almost with the succession of sort of growth that you've got on. Good it's fact. interesting! Nature points! <laughs> And also it's the ferry and sandbanks over there. So it's where the footballers live. All the footballers and all the money's at and all the rest of it. And Brown Sea Islands over there And yeah, so together they make the largest expanse of heath in Dorset because all the others are disjointed. So nice. it's the largest expanse. Coming down towards Shell Bay now. It's a beautiful, fresh, sunny morning, and we are very happy to be out and about. So we've picked up the heather walk, which has just taken us off the beach. Squeeze it, tell me what it smells like. I can't smell through these leather gloves. It's me on the smelling duties today, guys. Does it smell herby? A little bit herby. Yeah, bog myrtle. Bog myrtle. Myrtle bog. After you little boobs. Thank you very much. It's powerful for heather. Not today. Sorry guys, we've got your hopes up for willies. Well, I'm dashing them right here. No willies for you. Following the signs, luckily a lot of these little marker signs. Which is nice. Kind of see the hills and the countryside starting to roll out in front of us. Just start to see the Purbeck Hills in front of us now. Behind that you have Swanage and somewhere off in that direction is Corf Castle. We've noticed quite a lot of deer slots um, along this path which I find quite interesting so we thought we'd try and um, track them, try and see if we can find them. You found any other evidence Kerry? Found some 
pellets. Oh, you got some deer poop, have you? Yeah, deer poo down here, look. Interesting. Oh, yeah. oh what does it taste like? Definitely deer poo. <laughs> I need a sandwich, right? Yes. The bellies have engaged and the, the tractor beam is locked on to our first sandwich of the day. Yeah. We strictly only come out to eat, don't we? So it's the only reason we really do this. In case yeah. you haven't twigged yet, it's just uh, justified eating. Our favourite time is when, because I always make a Christmas cake each year, and then we deliberately just go out so we can eat Christmas cake somewhere. Christmas. Last time we sat on the church bench eating it. Yeah. <laughs> it Two miles from home. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. So long. distance just start to see where we're heading now that's old Harry's rocks over there what do you call a deer with no eyes no idea yeah. <laughs> what do you call a deer with no eyes and two legs still no idea oh. <laughs> So yeah, just come past the National Trust Visitor Centre. Yeah, we've got some cruise liners parked off. Dune restoration here. Help to preserve and revitalise the dunes. Oh yes, please keep off. So we're just looking to pick up um, a bit of a footpath now. No worries, you. No. <laughs> Ooh, a new shed. You. You're new. So we've just come out from behind all the huts and along the, the beach, and there's some um, uh, notice here of things you might see and find on this walk. And this the dragons. World War Two. World War Two, yeah. The dragon's teeth. It's a stop tank, so they're like an anti tank. They're also to trap it. You could trap a tank on Oh, like pinch points? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, the bay is Be still used by the Royal Marines from their base attack. Beach Ooh. landings and parachute jumps. Interesting. So, not long after coming up the road, you'll see this turn off behind us. A little stone down here pointing away and another little information board so we're here at the moment the middle beach yep and we're gonna go up south beach that's that corner we saw a minute ago that we can't go around that we've had to come up over yeah and that's near Fort Henry we'll and we're not round to old Harry It's the naughty pig. <laughs> That's going to now talk to the pigs. Look at the state, look at the mess they make. He's lonely. He's following cat now. Oh, <laughs> you alright, mate? Listen to the noise on he. Alright, my babber? No, I got scared then. Cat scared me. <laughs> See you later, mate. That's the pillbox that's down on the area of the beach we couldn't get to earlier. Just 
Stadrum was identified as a possible landing site for enemy troops and became heavily fortified to defend against the expected invasion. So um, they did the drills here for the D-Day landing and it was watched by Churchill and our king at the time, George. Um, they watched all the bombardments from this little bunker. Wow. Yeah. Apparently Fort Henry is named after the Canadian's home base. Uh, they built it in about 1943, which is down there somewhere, and it kept all the ammunition. Fourth and seventh Royal Dragoon Guards. I'm sure the success of the D-Day and the liberation of Europe. There are lots of little way markers and things to keep you en route. Just heading into South Beach now. Gonna lose a couple of layers. Uh, pick up the path again. Getting close now. Kerry. Hello. Natural public toilet in Britain. A public toilet guys. In Britain. It is very windy here. Um, yeah, we've just been talking about where we come from, really, looking back on sandbanks and where we started the day. We're not a million miles away from Old Harry's Rocks now. Um, yeah, just want to show you a little bit of the path. And we'll have to tell them the legend. The legend of Old Harry's Rock. Uh, yes, we will, but not right now. When we're a little bit closer. <laughs> And here we are, we have arrived at Old Harry's Rocks. Windy, if you're feeling brave, you can venture out over there. You're gonna go that far though? Yeah, you're gonna go as far as the end of the, yeah. the pathway there. What don't you? Why don't I? Can you pop out there? <laughs> I'll show you how far I can get. This is honest, I won't mess around. Go on. Yeah. Probably about there. It's good. <laughs> no word of a lie. We've got jelly legs. The legend of Old Harry. How Old Harry got his name is hotly debated. Some say it's linked to the devil, who, legend had it, once took a nap on the summit. Others claimed he is named after the notorious Paul pirate, Harry Payne, who terrorized the English Channel in the 14th century. It is said Harry's ships used to lurk behind the rocks, ready to pounce on passing merchant men. <laughs> It's absolutely breathtaking. Isn't that stunning? Oh wow. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. The water hit the cliff. So we're just going to carry on up this path now towards, I think, Studland Hill. Oh no, something else first. Ballard Point? Oh, Ballard something Point, like sorry. <laughs> so we didn't make it too far on our way up the hill before we decided to stop and have a cup of tea. Peaceful here. But it's see lovely. See the Isle of Wight out there? Yeah, we see a bit of the Isle of Wight. Got some lovely warmth coming off the sun. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. Tea in Valhalla. Chin chin. Cheers, Pips.
So just be following the path up from Old Harry's Rocks, which is part of the Purbeck Way. This should hopefully take us now up to uh, Ballard Point and give us a good vista out over Swanage. So at this point we're just going to follow the path up and to the right. If you stayed on the left there, you just follow the, the southwest coast path. Uh, you can just start to see Swanage poking its head up in the distance. I'll try and give you a view of that when I get a better shot. little trick point here. I think it's just for uh, the Ballard Down. I think it's for this is, oh okay, more for Ballard Down. It also looks like some earthworks here, doesn't it? Like it does, it's all, yeah, very strangely dug out. Yeah. Hello again. Still walking along the Purbeck Way making our way towards Studland Hill and then behind us you can kind of see now where we've come from this morning as well starting off down there this morning somewhere down there is that looking hole we peeked through for now working our way along this little stretch good easy walking isn't it bit of a nice path oh really nice saying about the um, the clay that they used to... Yeah, I mean Wedgwood used to take his clay from here. It was really famous. So it's some of the best, well, it was some of the best in the world. And it was used for all the most finest bone china. Ooh! <laughs> PW, perfect way. No, so we're now heading towards the obelisk that we peeked at earlier through the peepee -pee hole. Peepee -pee hole! <laughs> so hopefully we we'll find that. And we're just going to freestyle the way back to the car. Yeah, we are actually. Rather than Go back the way we retrace came. footsteps. We That's how we are. Rebels! Lovely, isn't it? I've just ventured off the main path because apparently somewhere around here is the top of Studland Hill. I don't know. I'm not sure. We're still heading up. Um, but yeah, lovely walk. Great views for Swanage and the coast and also inland. All along Studland. We're heading to the high point of Ballard Down now. There have been so many of these marker stones along this route. I won't lie. I don't know what half of them are. Nobody does carry. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. So we think this is where the obelisk was once situated. As it said down the bottom about it being moved. Uh, I think we're now on the high point of our walk today. They moved it so the Germans could use it as a That's target, right. so they would know where to fly in over you and see over. This, uh, yeah. So we have found the obelisk yeah. um, after walking over various uh, different points where it's been attached over the years. This is where it is now set and uh, yeah, have a little look.
so just follow the road down to the left and we picked up this sneaky little sign here all right sneaky and we're going to jump over the style the new 2020 game of don't use your hands Don't use your hands, don't use your hands. Into unexplored territory now. Uncharted. Oops. Oh. Oh. Hobbit land. Oh, woodlands. We are now entering a golf course. Please keep to the bridle paths. Oh, we're still following the um, our path. Agglestone, Studland Heath. Studland Heath. Agglestone. 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 <laughs> Sadly, not the kind of tea I like. <laughs> So just coming up into sight now, further down the path, is Agglestone Rock. Might just be able to make it out over there, a few people doing the rounds. It's a very strange thing to see out in the middle of the yeah, heath, isn't it? It's a lump of sandstone, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. It's gone. It's punished. It's gone. There it is. So we just followed our path down. And uh, we come across Agglestone Rock. Uh, Agglestone Rock, yeah. Otherwise known as the Devil's, Devil's Anvil. And it's because the Devil was so infuriated at how beautiful the Castle was, the Ruins Anvil over just landed there. So that's where we're going. Yeah. 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 So Agel is from the old dialect, meaning to wobble. So it's technically wobblestone. Wobblestone. Yeah. I like it. Really weird. So cool. The size of it. Agglestone Rock, yeah, go on. Moomin's just gonna get into shot for scale. I pretend to carrying it. So there we are, I was just about to say we're near Little C. The Agglestone. That's Agglestone, yeah, we were up there. There's a lot of this map. Um, I'm trying to look up a map that's not there. But we're heading off that way now. Yump. Just looking down over Little C, which was once upon a time salt water, but over the years there's uh, washed out with all the rain and uh, it's now fresh water. Fun fact. See we're just following track parallel to a ferry road which will take us back down to where we parked up this morning. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a really nice day isn't it? Absolutely cracking. Yeah. Really enjoyed it today. Yeah very That's nice. Things to see. Really, I really enjoy old Wobble Rock. Wobble Rock was yeah, cool. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. It's just really strange. You don't expect to see something like that. 
um, out in the middle of the heath. Really weird. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you for joining us and always watching and, and commenting. Um, please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And thumbs up. Leaving a like. And uh, yeah, any question, leave us, leave us a comment. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. And uh, stay safe. Cheerio. Take care. Be good. Bye bye. Till the pair. <laughs>